to support you. Because we know that if you can get someone to do some campaigning or something that uses their time, not their money, at least they're staying with you in organization until the times that they have some liquid cash flow again. All of these have got to be better than letting them go and recruiting them all against them. Call again in two years' time, don't they? They've got to be cheaper than letting them go in any way. Whatever it is, be proactive. You must increase communication with them. That's the only way to keep people. It's counterintuitive, but we know that the more often you communicate with people, the more active the database stays and the more net income you get. The problem is, is that six or seven people all complain when you increase communication and they all live next door to the chief executive or trustee. <laughs> So you base a decision based on six or seven complaints, not the total financial activity of 100,000 people in a donor farm. <coughs> yeah, it's barking mad. Increased communication, we know that keeps people more active, full stop. And we know that the shorter the time between communications, the more active people come. It's very simple. 